There you go. You're on the hose now. Here it looks easy enough. You know, every so often talk with each other. Simply follow the fire hose. That's your lifeline in and out. But add in obstacles. All right, we got another hole right here. It looks like we're on some rafter. Take away the ability to see. We black out the face mask. Pile on fire gear. And these residents are getting a sense of what Irving firefighters can experience. One of the biggest things that people don't understand about fighting fire is just the environment. Uh, when you go inside a fire, you can't see your hand in front of your face if it's dark and smoky. Those tough, dangerous conditions we've seen real Irving firefighters train in are replicated in a safer way here. All right, right behind you. You're good. Cool. The people going through this maze are taking part in the Citizens Fire Academy, a free course offered by the Irving Fire Department. That's it, gotta get low now. This short maze provides a lot of challenges, and one of the toughest is here at the end. Yeah. All right, stay low, we got stuff right above us. Remember, they cannot see anything. Uh -huh. Pull yourself through on your belly, and then when you feel your tank hit, uh -huh. duck and roll your tank one direction to the other to make yourself diagonal, and you'll go through there, okay? All right, so now you feel it, there you go, turn, perfect. When you put on all of that gear, it's hot, it's heavy, and anytime you're confused or disoriented, your heart rate will go up. When they get through it, the exhaustion is visible. At the end of it, they're like, oh, that was crazy, and we let them see what they did. Whoa. You can take three lines into this engine. Over the nine-week academy, these students come out twice a week to learn different aspects of Irving's fire service. This is the engine operations class for Citizens Fire Academy. So there's a lot more involved than you think. Janet Atterbury is finding out some of this is pretty tough. You just think it's not that much harder than holding a water hose, but it really is with the pressure coming on. It was pushing me back, so it surprised me. They and a few others here have heard about some of this before at home. My husband's been a fireman for Irving for 28 years. My son's an Irving firefighter. And now know what he does other than just drive the fire truck. I actually called him after one of our classes and I said, I am so proud of you. I am just totally amazed at what you can do. That's something I've discovered in the fire service. The stress of that environment, a lot of times the family members of those people can't connect. So them coming to a program like this as family members and understanding the day-to-day -day of what their loved ones are going through at the job really, really helps in the family connection. I'm always worried about him, and I still do, but I don't. I don't think it's so much of a worry now because I know he's trained. But when you're connecting hose together, you have to The Citizens Fire Academy is open to any adult who lives or works in Irving. I'm from India and I didn't know that all these things they do. We're doing everything we can so if they can experience as much of what we do without getting hurt. I'm just learning a lot of things about firemen and what they do and things I have new respect towards them. That respect is mutual. It's important to me that you guys care enough about what we do to show up and learn. Uh, that's, that means a lot to me. They love to come out and share their profession and share what they know and they love it. That includes covering the history of the department and offering some interesting ways to remember life-saving lessons. Uh, 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 stay alive, stay alive. Other topics include hazardous materials, technical rescue, and emergency medical services. That's over 80% of our call volume, taking care of people who are sick or injured or having heart attacks. Then all we have to do is just take this and move this in downstream. To keep it safe, this swift water rescue class takes place on concrete. They went through some of the different ropes that you techniques you could use, throw a bag to somebody who was in the water. It's a great way to get introduced to you know what they go through and what they deal with on a daily basis. And even when the academy ends, the students' involvement does not have to. They can become part of the academy's alumni association. And if the firefighters have a multi-alarm fire that they need some assistance, we 
have a truck that we can take and assist the firefighters. And that really made the connection. When the firefighters started seeing those guys show up at a fire and bring them cold water and help them in rehab, it's something that the whole department understood was extremely valuable. After taking part in some of these exercises, some are ready for an even bigger commitment a career. Right now, one guy on our list to get hired that went through, I think two classes ago he went through, um, and we have a few more people that have gotten on with other departments. But most in the academy just want the chance to experience some of the thrills and challenges Irving firefighters encounter daily as they serve the city. It's been everything I was expecting and it's been a lot of things that I wasn't expecting. You get to look like a firefighter and you get to go through everything that they basically do. You realize how much they have to know and how much training they have to go through to do their job. So it's, it's pretty eye-opening. I think everybody should come out and do this. Come out and see what firemen do.